Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek. In this tutorial, what we are going to do is to create this Black Friday design you see on my screen. So, open Canva and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say that, look, I almost forgot Black Friday was around the corner and um, I came up with this design. I thought, you know, making a quick video tutorial teaching you how to make it would be a good idea. So don't, don't leave this tutorial, stick with me to the end and I'll show you every single thing you need to know on how to make this design. So let's switch into Canva and let's get our hands dirty. Alright, so this is what we have to do and um, the first thing you just have to do is to create a new design. Okay, I'm using the dimension 1080 by 1350 but you can go with any dimension at all of your choice. Okay, and um, you'd see that with the background we have over here, in order to make things easy for you, I actually have it on my element website. I, I made it customly but you know, it was a bit time consuming so I actually downloaded the background and uploaded it on the elements.theafricangeeks.com so you can just go there and search for um, Black Friday okay and you'd see that background download it and upload it in canva but if you are still interested in knowing how i made it i'll still teach you okay but i'll show you the basics of it and um, you can just build on from there i know i pronounce some of the words funny but eh, i don't care <laughs> all right so um i'll just come here the first thing i'll just do is to search for um actually i don't have to search press r on your keyboard okay and then we'll set the background of this shape to the same background of what we have behind okay so i'll just come here and i will change the color okay of this shape oh well you just have okay so i just change the color okay then i'll come here okay into the um weight or the outline then choose this okay then increase the size right now because there are two you know both of them are dark you wouldn't really see the difference but this is what you have to do you can just come into the color section over here and increase oh i'm actually making doing the wrong thing so rather select the border color okay then come over here add a new color and just increase it a little bit okay so um something like 3 b 3b 3b should be okay okay then i'll just click on it press on the shift and increase the size like this okay then i'll just position it in the center so maybe i'll just leave this to 25 okay because we'll reduce the size and once you reduce the size you know this will become thicker so i'll just um, duplicate it position it in the middle press and hold you know shift while i reduce the size oh no then i position it to the center okay then i reduce the size more and bring it to the center so you can see what we are doing then we duplicate it again position it here and um, just reduce the size and um, you know just do that and center it okay and you just have to make sure that the sizes are even or the intervals between both um, border lines are even okay so this is what we have at the moment select all of it and group them using ctrl g okay so ctrl g to group then i select it and i reduce the size so you can see how it's looking at the moment let me just close this okay i would also you know increase this a little bit so that you know it's filling the whole thing okay so i position this here and i'll just place this one over here duplicate it using ctrl d and this way i'll place it then i'll duplicate it again and duplicate it again select all of it duplicate you know so you can see how i actually made this in canva okay and um i just had to center it so this is just the whole idea about it so you just have to duplicate it and make sure it fills the entire canvas then you rotate it slightly and add you know the gradient shadows i have on the same element website so you can go there and search for gradients and just place them on top you know i'm sure once you followed my tutorial for a while this is something you can be able to do but to be able to save time in doing this i have the background already done and you can just download it and use it so that's what i'm going to use for this tutorial okay so let's switch into canva and i'll just clear all of this okay all right so now what i'm just going to do is i would come into my upload okay i'm actually still in my upload and i'll just go up over here what i'm going to do is i would come to upload files okay and i'll just go into my downloads so that's where i have it okay then i just upload it inside of canva so once it's uploaded i'll just select it right click and you know replace the background so you can see as easy as that okay now the next thing we have to do is to come into our element in element i'll just close this up and um, i'll come to see or first of all search for gold square border that's what you have to search for okay select it and you can just have to rotate you just have to rotate it to 90 degrees then you can reduce the size to something like this okay so you can see how i've centered the whole thing like this which is looking very beautiful select it come to edit image and choose shadows okay so with shadow you can choose the drop shadow for this and um, the shadow had been applied but we can't really see it so we just have to make some adjustments to it so this is what you have to do increase the um, offset okay a little bit with the blur you can increase it more transparency 
you know just use it and uh, with the angle you can adjust the angle according to how you want it okay but i'll just leave it to zero then click apply once you do that canvas should apply you know the shadow to the um border successfully then i'll just reposition this okay okay so i'm using my arrow key you can see what's happening over here now the next we have to do is to add our text so press t on your keyboard for text and i will just say black or black or depending on where you're from you know just say anything at all you would like to see and i would increase the size of this then i will change the um, typeface i'm using okay so i come over here then i would you know just search for champion gothic that's actually a custom font and um, you can be able to upload custom fonts if you are on canva pro and um, let me just use the opportunity to tell you about canva pro canva pro so just in case you are looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platform adding multiple brand kits uploading custom fonts having more animation options when it comes to working with teams or larger teams inside of canva all of this is possible so i have a link in the description box below that can help you use canva pro for free so kindly check it out and start using canva pro today the next thing i want to talk to you about is the 60 photo descriptions ebook i have created for you this contains 60 descriptions you can just copy and paste into canva and find high quality images inside of canva and the last thing is i have also upgraded my assorted canva templates from 20 to 65 templates so now you have more templates you can actually use for anything at all you want so all these links can be found in the description box all right so we just have to go back and let's continue with whatever we were doing okay so um here is it so i just you know come to champion gothic and i change the font now that the font has been changed we just have to increase the size so i'll increase the size to something like this you know which is um fine select on it and come to the color so we just change the color also to this okay then this is what we have to do come into no don't come anywhere just click on the text go into effect <laughs> then in effect we can just choose shadows okay so you can see how it's looking they would increase the blurriness of it and reduce the transparency so that we don't make it too transparent all right then duplicate it and position it you know straight on top then what we are going to do now is we'll come into you know the same effect and choose splice okay change the color to black and this is how everything should look okay then let me just click away okay so that we can see all of that okay so what we are going to do now is with the thickness we'll reduce the thickness okay it shouldn't be zero and just also reduce the um offset of it so you can see what we have been able to make right now all right all right then just search for golden no not golden just search for colored balloons on a blue sky even though there's no blue sky to this and um, add it on your design i position this one here okay and um, let me move here then i'll duplicate it rotate it a little bit okay and i'll position it here duplicate it again and rotate it a little bit like this and i'll also position this one also here then make sure you, you select all of it so i'll select what's behind using control you know the control key helps you to select any element behind so you just press and hold control while you click so that's what you have um, to do okay so now that i have that selected i'll just press and hold shift select this and select that okay then i will send all to the back okay you can just come to position and choose um backward or you know or to back you can choose any of them all right all right okay so now that we have this you can see is looking very beautiful so i'm just going to add my second text okay so i can just say friday so friday select or come here again and then um, i'll scroll up and i'll just choose this font feeling passionate it's a font you can actually find in canva so you can just search for that okay and since it's a script font usually with script font i just don't like or it doesn't look nice to me when it's in, it's it's in all caps i just don't like it at all so i'll switch it to you know lower caps you understand maybe i can keep the f as all caps okay so f r i d y okay then i just increase the size and position it here okay so what i'm going to do because the color is almost the same i would want this you know the difference to be seen so i'll come to effect choose shadow change the color to black okay and um, the offset you can push it out more then with the blur you know we don't want it to be blur but the transparency increase the transparency so that we can you know see this thing we've done you so you can see it's now um creating something like a cutout over here okay so now that we've done all of that the next thing we just have to do is to add some text over here so press l on your keyboard to add a line and then um, you can position it here okay then increase the size and duplicate it why do i keep pressing ctrl f oh my goodness okay so i will just duplicate this and i'll position it somewhere 
somewhere here yeah. and um, because sometimes i can be so reluctant i'll just come and choose this okay and position it here so control v can be here let's sort this my goodness okay so uh -huh. so you can see how beautiful this is looking and i would make sure it's centered select or and um, center it properly so with the lines make sure you're changing the color to a golden color you understand so you can see how all of this is looking okay which is very beautiful so now we are just at the last part of this tutorial come to element and in element all you need to search for is confetti f so c o n f e t t i confetti right and you can choose any of these confetti and place them on your design so you can just you know add them creatively on your design so you can see how this is looking i can send this to the top and i can maybe add some extra ones over here you know rotate to something like this and then uh, i can also push this one here so you can see how this is looking i think it's actually looking um beautiful you know and um, i love it so you can see what we have been able to do with the confetti you can actually be creative in terms of how you get to use it okay so this is what we have been able to create and you can see it's a very simple um design we made in canva however just in case you don't have the time you can still get the template you know and um, the link is in the description box below so yes just in case you're looking for more canva tutorials there are three things you have to do first of all smash the like button if you enjoy this video the second thing is to smash the subscribe button and also check my channel because i have more canva tutorials in there the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial